In a forest far away grew a great many trees. Most of them were tall trees, higher than the houses that we see, and with wide, strong branches. But there was one tree that was not nearly so tall as the others. In fact, it was no taller than some of you. Now the trees could see far, far out over the hilltops and into the valleys, and they could hear all the noises that went on in the world beyond the forest. But the little tree was so small, and the other trees grew so high and thick around it, that it could not see or hear these things at all. One time, in the winter, there seemed to be something strange happening in the little town among the hills. For the little trees did not go to sleep after the sun went down, but instead they put their heads together and spoke in low whispers that were full of awe and wonder. The little tree from its place close to the ground did not understand what was going on. It listened a while and then lifted its head as high as it ever could and shouted to its tall neighbor, Will you stoop down and tell me what's happening? And the big tree stooped down and whispered, The shepherds out on the hilltops are telling strange stories while they watch their sheep. The air is filled with sweet music, and there's a wonderful star coming up in the east. Oh, little tree, listen, said the tall tree. There are angels among the shepherds on the hills, and they're all talking together. They seem to be awaiting the birth of a little child who will be the king among all the people. And the beautiful star will shine above the stable where the little king will be laid in a manger. The tree again raised its head to listen, and the little tree, curious and puzzled, thought, This is very strange. Oh, how I wish I could see it all. It waited a little longer and then everything grew quiet and a great peace came upon the forest. Then suddenly everything was illuminated with a strange white light that made everything as bright as day and the air was filled with the flutter of angels' wings and with music such as the world has never heard before. The people, the trees, even the stars in the heavens lifted up their voices and sang together and the whole world was filled with music and joy and love for the little Christ child who had come to live on earth. The little tree was filled with fear and wonder, for so great was the excitement that the other trees had almost forgotten it, and it could not understand the mysterious sounds. But its tall friend said, Listen, listen, little tree, such news I have to tell. The Christ has come, the King, and the whole world is celebrating. The little tree slouched, saddened because he wasn't tall enough to see what was happening. He wished he could participate somehow, longing to be part of this great story that was being told. The whole world was rejoicing, but the little tree felt small and insignificant. I'm just a nobody, he thought. I wish I could see more. I wish I could do more. I feel like I'm missing out. The night passed. For the little tree, it was both a night of wonder and disappointment. How he wished there was something he could do to welcome this king and to share the good news with the world. Years passed, and the little tree grew every day, becoming taller and stronger. One day, the tree heard someone coming through the forest. A commotion arose among the other older trees. It was the king, the Christ, the one who was born on that special night many years ago. The king came to the tree and placed his hands upon its smooth trunk and branches. He examined the tree. His eyes were filled with love, yet somehow the tree understood that the king's heart was heavy. And the king turned and went away. Many times after that, the king came to the forest. He rested beneath the tree and enjoyed the shade of its leaves. Many times he slept there and the tree watched over him. Many times men came with him. They called him Jesus. They sat with him in the shade and talked with him of things that the tree could not understand. The tree listened as the men told of how Jesus healed the sick and raised the dead and helped people wherever he went. The tree was amazed at this man, this Jesus, and again he wished he could be part of his story. One night, Jesus came alone into the forest. His face was pale and wet with tears. He fell upon his knees and prayed. The tree heard him and the forest was still. In the middle of the night, 
there came a sound of angry voices and clashing swords. Angry men chopped their axes with cruel vigor. The tree was cut to the ground. Its beautiful branches were cut away and its soft, thick leaves flew away with the wind. The cruel men dragged the tree away. The tree flinched as it was carried through an angry, noisy crowd. It shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to it. It felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath it, the tree knew that God's love had changed everything. This Jesus who came as a baby on that magnificent night many years ago, this Jesus, a man like no other, had just changed the world with his selfless sacrifice and the love of God. And the little tree who all along wished it could somehow participate in the story God began telling many years ago, suddenly realized it had. For the little tree, once small and seemingly insignificant, became the most important tree ever, for he became part of the greatest gift ever given. He became the cross on which Jesus, the Savior of the world, died. And every time people thought of the tree, they would think of God and his great gift to the world. As we celebrate Christmas, as we decorate trees, as we spend time with family, and as we give and receive gifts, let us remember the little tree who thought he was too small to make a difference. Remember the very first Christmas tree, the cross, which gave us the greatest gift ever given.